Madame Rogel Gaia clearly described the uh, pig farming landscape. So we have analyzed data from the latest agricultural census in 2020. We compared with the data from 2010 and 2000. The goal of this presentation, and I would like to share with you the initial results, was to update the structural and territorial characteristics of pig farms in France and also the typology of different farms, pig farms more specifically. So every 10 years, there's an agricultural census, and it's a unique opportunity to fine tune our description of pig farms in France. Over 900 data points are collected from all farms across the country. The data has to do with surface area, Words, numbers, labor, production methods, commercialization methods, diversification activities, etc. In 2020, the collection of data was self-administered via internet, and part of the questionnaire was based on a representative sense sample. The previous time, in 2010, the three technical institutes put together a shared typology of pig farms. The method was designed and the size thresholds for identifying significant pig farms were remobilized for the 2020 data. When it comes to pigs, we look at farms with over 100 pigs or over 20 sows, so that's two-thirds of pig owners. And 99% of the uh, countrywide population, so the typology, boils down to distributing those farms in a matrix. So we look at production uh, and the type of associated herbivores. So either no herbivores or different types of bovine. In 2020, there were 190,000 farms, all sizes and all species combined. So one in three farm disappears every 10 years in France. By way of comparison, farms without uh, breeding uh, activity, uh, well, that declines only by 4% every decade. So the share of uh, the share of farms with the breeding activities uh, uh, dropped from 69% in 2000 to 51% in 2022. Why is that? Well, because there's a strong decrease in non-significant farms, as you can see here in gray. And also there's a strong decrease in mixed farms that, that significantly associate herbivores and grain-eating species. Also, in France, there are eight times more herbivore farms than grain-eating. Uh, animals, so respectively 138,000 uh, herbivore farms and 16,700 grain eating animal farms. And also, there's a significant combination of grain, eat grain eating slash herbivore uh, plants. But it's mostly a herbivore problem because 40% of herbivore farms are mixed, but only 8% of herbivore farms are mixed. So this graph shows you the changes in the number of pig farms in France over the past three censuses. So in yellow, you have the non-significant sized farms. In gray and red, you have the others, depending on whether or not they have sows. The total number of uh, farms that have at least one uh, pig was came to 13,020, and this uh, uh, decreased to 4.5 fold over the past 20 years, simply because the very small pig farms have disappeared. Mostly those were fattening units. Now, pretty much the entire pig herd in 2020 was held by 8,400 pig farmers, which and in 2000, that was twice as much. So farming activities are highly concentrated. Only 4,400 farms now hold pretty much all of the sows versus 10,200 in 2000. Now, if we look at the herd in 2020, there were 13.3 million pigs in France, including 0.956 million sows. So the pig herd may have slowed down, but to a lesser extent over the past 10 decades, a minus 3.5% then between 2000 and 2010, 
7.1% decrease, France has still lost 460,000 sales over the past 20 years. So that's one third of all sales. These are the main structural characteristics in 2020. So uh, farms with over 20 sales, on average, they had 230 sales per farm versus 140 in 2000. 30% of sales are in farms with 500 sales or more versus 15% 20 years ago. Uh, Faro to finish dominates in France, and that is a specific feature of France relative to the competition. So 80% of sales and over 62% of fattening spots are in Faro to finish farms. Now, pigs and the soil are intertwined, and the average uh, utilized surface area um, increased by 1.6% in 2000, the share of farms uh, with at least one pig that uh, uh, they have zero surface area is uh, increasing. And this means that we may have more and more uh, collective uh, uh, pre-weaning uh, uh, activities, and also because there's a different legal status. Now, there are 12,430 <coughs> full-time equivalent working in pig farms in France. And as far as demographics is concerned, the average age of farmers was 49 years in 2020 versus 42 years old in 2000. And one third of pigs was held by uh, farmers of aged 55 plus versus 7% in 2000. And the problem is how do we find new and younger farmers to replace the old timers? So there are three main types of pig farms, those that specialize in pig, uh, the mixture of uh, crops and uh, breeding, where there's a significant association between pigs and herbivores. So there are more and more specialty farms. They accounted for one in three farms in 2000 and 44% in 2020. And two thirds of pigs are now found in specialist pig farms versus 50% in the year 2000. Meanwhile, the mixed uh, farms, which accounted for 50% of all farms in 2020, is declining, less than 30%. And one pig in three was significantly associated with herbivores uh, in 2000, and now it's only one farm in five. So characteristics of those farms. Here's the archetype. We're talking about a specialist farm with sows. So 50% uh, of the national herd, those farms have the highest economic aspects. Uh, over 170 million population versus 130,000 at the national level on average, and that's the archetype in France, 280,000 sows, 80 hectares in terms of SAU, and uh, half, of the, half of the people working there are farmhands. So when you mix crops and breeding, Usually, those are herbivores. But when there are just pigs, in 50% of cases, you also have sows. And those are usually small farms. 114 hectares of SAU. And when you also have herbivores that are sows in order in only 25% of cases. So on average, 110 sows. And this is where you find these small uh, pig uh, farms. Usually, those are dairy cows over 90, um, over 90 on average. And so that mixture of breeding and crops that is second leading contrib contributor to the economy and also employs a lot of people. Well, now the mixed farms, where there's a second combination of pigs and herbivores, you need to connect the south, the south and the full-time equivalents. Well, usually when you have 140 sows, those are small pig farms. Usually you have 70 or 80 dairy dairy cows. By way of conclusion, and this comes as no surprise, the structural concentration continues. Uh, only 4,400 farms that own 99% of the sow herd in France. One in sow farm over in three disappears every 10 years. And this means we may have a problem supplying piglets in the future. Most of the pig farms in France still do a little bit of everything, which is very specific to France relative to the competition. There are only 44 farms that specialize in pigs. 
even though the share of the herd is increasing. But at a local or regional level, there seems to be a higher degree of specialization. So mixed farms are declining in some areas, but are increasing in regions of the country that, uh, that where there's a lot of arable land. But what matters is land-based independence, and that's something to be promoted. Thank you very much for your attention.